Hey guys, so if you're like me and you kind of got bit by this pickleball craze and you know you, maybe you never thought you would like pickleball but you're finding it hard to find some courts that are available because the pickleball courts are all packed and things like that and you know you're you're just playing with your family with your kids just having some fun and stuff like that but uh, so what I want to do today is I want to show you guys how to draw the pickleball lines in your streets if you have enough um, room in your neighborhood to play pickleball in your streets it's a pretty darn good option and the nets are pretty cheap you know relatively cheap and you can set it up and have a good time in the streets I'll show you how to do that today okay it's gonna be real hard for me to show you on a big court on how uh, I measured everything out but here I want to simplify it on this piece of paper so that uh, you could uh, replicate and do the same thing on a larger scale of course so here the pickleball court is about 44 feet by 20 feet okay so that's how much you need to make the lines of course you need some space beyond that to actually play particularly in the back uh, the sides you don't need as much as the back uh, but that's that's the minimum you need and you know you if you want to make a smaller cord I suppose you could do that too but let's go from there so um, from there what we're gonna break it down to um, 10 because you can see it's 20 and break it down to 10, 15, 7 for the kitchen, 7 again, 15, and 10. Alright, so you're going to need some string, and you're going to need to cut the string to basically the, the whole uh, perimeter of the cord. So you're going to need 44 feet times 2, so that's 88, plus another 20 feet times 2. So 88 plus 40 is 128 feet. So you need a... 128 feet of line so let's pretend this is 128 feet of line so what we're gonna do first when you get exactly 128 so what you're gonna do is we're gonna um, you could tape or tie it together but you know for this example what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tape it together and just as a quick mock up what I'm going to do is gonna verify to show you that it is the right measurement for the court okay so from, from there what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take half the rope or string that I measured out exactly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that and I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to mark this end right here okay so we're gonna start with that end and from there we know we're gonna need to go down 10 feet okay so from 10 feet I'm gonna make another mark right there and after that I know we're going to need to go 15 feet. Make another mark on that line. Of course, you're going to use a measuring tape to measure this, not a giant piece of paper. Okay, another mark. And you could use different colors just to make it easier on you so that uh, you know you don't, for, so you know which ones are in the front and rear. And, things like that but for this example I'm just going to use the same color I'm gonna mark another seven mark another one here 15 and of course another at the end so now that I have all these things marked what I'm going to do is I would go on the court go around the center and and you're gonna need some help because it's it's hard to do by yourself and from there what you want to do is just open up the court and you're gonna see that now you have your lines perfectly marked out I'm just holding it down with my hands right now but in the streets we're gonna 
tape it down and then we're going to use some chalk and we're going to use the, the line as a guide for us to draw the borders of the net and of course you need to draw the middle lines too not just the perimeter and let me show you how that looks uh, on my street okay and now using that technique on a larger scale you will have a perfect pickleball court every time and that's assuming you could draw straight with chalk Okay, draw straight with the chalk. I'll leave a link on the net. If you get a net with wheels, it's great for the street so you can get out of the way when cars come. Okay, that's it.